Hey guys, if you've been wanting to try Puff Vinyl or you just can't quite figure out how to get it to work, then this tutorial is going to be just what you need. Puff Vinyl can be a lot more sensitive than regular vinyl, so it's really important that you get the right press and the right temperature. So Puff Vinyl is just like a regular iron on vinyl when it comes to cutting because you need to make sure that you mirror it in Cricut Design Space before cutting it. Um, so when you're in that matte preview, go ahead and toggle on mirror for each of your layers if you're using puff vinyl. And you're also going to place it on your cutting mat with the carrier side down. But puff vinyl is a little bit confusing because the carrier side isn't necessarily this shiny side like you're used to with iron on vinyl. I'm actually using two different types of puff vinyl in this tutorial so you can see the difference. So with this VTS Super Puff Vinyl, the carrier sheet is actually dull, so the shiny side is going to go up. But with the other vinyl, the carrier side is shiny, so the shiny side is going to go down. So if you aren't sure which side the carrier side is, then gently peel the vinyl and the carrier sheet apart at the corner. And one side of it is going to be your color vinyl, and then the other side is going to be kind of like a clear plastic sheet. And that clear plastic sheet is the carrier side, and so that's the side that you need to face down on your cutting mat. And so for cutting this vinyl, I found that using the everyday iron on vinyl and changing the pressure to more works really well. Everything cut perfectly. And it is also very easy to weed. So if you're having a difficult time weeding your puff vinyl, then try using the glitter iron on vinyl setting instead. Or you may need to replace your blade if you haven't done that in a while. Pressing puff vinyl is going to be a little bit different because you don't actually press it for very long. You're only going to want to press this for about 10 seconds. And you are going to want to use a heat press for this. Irons are not going to be consistent heat, so you're not going to get the desired look that you're going for with this vinyl. And you also need a very hard surface, so you're not going to use that easy press mat for this. Instead, I'm actually putting a cutting board in the middle of my shirt, but anything that's hard like this is going to work. So even just a piece of wood or any kind of board in between. And then when you press your shirt, you need to make sure that you press with a lot of pressure. So if you're using an easy press instead of, you know, one of the other type of presses, make sure to lean into it and add all of your weight while you press. And like I said, you only need to press for 10 seconds. And so I found that the temperature varied a little bit depending on the fabric that I was using. So with 100% cotton, I found a higher heat of 290 degrees works well, and you're only gonna press that for 10 seconds. But when using like a poly cotton blend, a little bit of a lower heat worked better with that. So I went with 280 degrees for 10 seconds. And those are what got me the best results um, when working with this Puff Vinyl. And that's gonna work for both brands. So it seems like all brands of Puff Vinyl might be similar with that. But I always recommend that you do a test before making your shirt, especially if you've never worked with this type of vinyl before. But what, but if you want to know if it's done or not, when you're done pressing, your carrier sheet should slide right off. You shouldn't have to peel it off at all. So if you feel like you have to pull it at all to come off, then press longer, but make sure that you only press a couple seconds at a time. And you'll know it's ready if that carrier sheet kind of slides off on its own. And you should also have a smooth, puffy look when it's done. So if for some reason your puff vinyl is bumpy or there's a lot of texture or you feel like you can easily peel it off, then this means that you use too much heat, so you're going to need to turn the heat down. But one of the nice things about puff vinyl is that if you overheat it, you can just pull it off and start over. And don't worry, it's only going to pull off if you pressed for too long. So if you've got a good press, then it is going to stay on and last. But if you mess up, just add a little more heat to it until you can easily pull it off and then you can start over. So maybe just put your heat on there for a couple seconds at a time and you'll see it's going to get real bubbly and as it gets bubbly it's going to kind of peel off the shirt. And once you're able to kind of easily pull it off, then you don't need any more heat. Um, but because puff vinyl is so sensitive to heat, you do want to make sure that this type of vinyl is the last layer that you press. So you can layer these, and it works really well and looks really cool. Just make sure that that puff vinyl is the very last layer that you press, um, because if you double press it, you're going to overheat it, and it's going to peel right off. 
Um, but if you want to use more than one puff color vinyl at the, for the same shirt, you can still do this. Just make sure that you line up all the different colors on your shirt first and then press them at the same time. So to do that, all you're going to do is kind of cut around each of your design really close around that carrier sheet so that you can place everything in place. And then you just need to do one press and everything will be good to go. Um, but if you want more tips or tricks on using Puff Vinyl, and if you want to see the recommendations for the brands I'm using and which one I kind of liked better, then you can check out my blog post where I have all of that information as well. And you're going to find that link in this video description. And if you guys have any questions on how to use this type of vinyl, make sure to leave those in the comments and I will answer them there for you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.